Hello everyone. How is the study is going on? I hope these videos are helping you to understand the topic easily. So in the previous video we left at moon and we learned about the sun and the first three planets. If you haven't watched that video then please check out in description box. So our next planet is Mars. Mars is called red planet because it has iron rich red soil it has two satellites and they are phobos and deimos mars complete its one orbit around the sun in 687 days and on its axis it take one day next is jupiter Jupiter is the largest planet of the solar system. Jupiter has many satellites but Ganymede is the largest satellite in our solar system. Okay now see here this is a picture of Jupiter okay Next is Saturn Saturn It is the second largest planet of the solar system. Saturn has bright concentric rings which are made up of ice and ice covered dust particles which revolve around it, okay? And the satellite is Titan. Titan is the largest satellite of Saturn. you can see the rings of saturn okay how it is rotating our next planet is uranus it is the third largest planet in the solar system uranus rotates from east to west on its axis okay uranus is the planet that rotates from east to west on its axis which is opposite to other planets except venus okay next is neptune it is the eighth planet of the solar system and it has a very low temperature because it is farthest to the sun okay now this was all about planets Now there are some more celestial bodies like asteroids, meteors, meteoroids, comets. Let's have a look on them one by one. So first is asteroids. And asteroids are small rocky bodies that revolve around the sun. They are smaller than planets. You can also see in first picture. this picture okay you can see like a small small rocks are there it is made up of rocks asteroids are made up of rocks next they are mostly found between the orbits of mars and jupiter and the reason formed by this is known as asteroid belts okay so asteroid belts are found between Ju planets mars and jupiters okay next is meteoroids they are also small rocky bodies that are break off from asteroids when two asteroids smash to each other okay so i am going to explain it in a very simple language so that you can easily understand it so what is meteoroids you know about asteroids that there are many asteroids which revolve around the sun to kabhi kabhi kya hota hai ki ek do asteroid aapas mein takra jate hain smash ho jate hain aur unke takrane se asteroid asteroids ke kuch parts ya kuch tukde keh sakte hain alag ho jate hain तो वही टुकड़े हुए टूटे हुए टुकड़े 
इसको मिट्रॉयड्स बोलते हैं ओके आई थिंक ना यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज मिट्रॉयड्स यू विल बी मोर क्लियर अबाउट दिस बाय वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो सॉरी दिस इमेज सी हियर यू कैन सी वन एस्ट्रॉयड एंड मैनी पार्ट्स इज कमिंग आउट इज ब्रोकन ऑफ एंड दैट इज मेट्रॉयड्स नेक्स्ट इज मिट्योर्स मिट्योर्स आर यूजली स्मॉल एंड ड्यू टू हीट प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द फ्रिक्शन विद एयर बर्न अप बिफोर द रीच द अर्थ सरफेस ओके नाउ वॉट इज मिट्योर्स समटाइम्स वॉट हैपन दीज मिट्रॉयड्स दैट आर ब्रोकन ऑफ फ्रॉम एस्ट्रॉयड्स कम नियर टू द आउटर अर्थ एटमोसफियर ओके एंड ड्रॉप अपॉन इट ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन विद एयर दे गेट हीटेड एंड स्टार्ट बर्निंग and it causes a flash of light and that is meteors because of their appearance their streaks of lights are sometimes called as shooting star yes it is called as shooting stars so now what you conclude that shooting stars are not actually stars but they are meteors okay now what is meteorites some meteorites are large and do not burn completely when they come across to the earth atmosphere and they land on the earth's as surface okay so it's mean that some meteorites that are broken off by the smash of asteroids okay when they come closer to the earth's atmosphere they start burning due to the friction but some of them don't burn completely in fact they survive and land to the earth's surface and creates a hole and these are also called as meteorites okay see here this is a picture of meteorites first picture shows how meteorites come closer to the earth surface and second picture shows when it lands on the earth surface okay next is comets comets move around the sun in regular orbits they are made up of frozen gases which hold together ice and dust when it comes closer to the sun when the comet clo comes closer to the sun then what happens the ice starts melting and the gas and dust is swept back into a tail yes they become a tail this tail always point away from the sun okay and heli comet was visible in 1986 and it will again visible after 76 years you can also see it okay now see in the picture what i told you is exactly explained in the diagram number 1 okay you can see in the bottom there is a sun and when the comet come closer to the sun the dust tail and the gas tail go away from the sun yes and in the second picture from the earth the comet looks like that now is galaxy A galaxy is a large group of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases like Milky Way. Our solar system is a part of Milky Way galaxy. And okay now do we live in a Milky Way galaxy? But do you know why it is called Milky Way? because it appears as a soft glowing light of billions of stars okay but we can't see them because they are very very far from us and there are million of such galaxies that make the universe okay so now this was all about solar system 
I will be back with a new interesting topic and that is latitudes. Okay, so stay tuned with my channel and if you like this video then please like and share and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, bye kids.